Our guest of our Jazz 625 show tonight has inspired probably more journalistic twaddle than any other jazz musician. He's been referred to as the high priest of bebop, as a jazz maverick, as the mysterious monk, and more recently in a London paper as the piano Picasso, <laughs> whatever that means. What he is in fact is one of those rare beings, a true jazz original, a vastly respected musician and composer whose uh, influence on jazz in the last 25 years has been incalculable, but who has remained all the time a striking individualist. The name is Thelonious Monk. <laughs> With him on tenor saxophone for the past six years, Charlie Rouse. On bass, Larry Gales. <laughs> and on drums, Ben Riley. <laughs> Here it is then, the Thelonious Monk Quartet with Chris Cross.
one day I hope someone will write a, a book called Jazz Musicians and Their Hats. If they do, it'll be a large volume and Thelonious Monk will take up quite a large part of it. This one, incidentally, was given to him by a club owner in Montreal, who I'm sure will be very glad to know that it's getting such exposure on British television. Now here's one of the great and familiar Monk compositions. It's a thing called Well You Needn't. <laughs>
Thelonious Monk Quartet with, well, you needn't. Charlie Rouse on tenor sax, Larry Gales on bass, Ben Riley on drums, and of course, Thelonious Monk on piano. The title of their third number is Nutty. <laughs> Thank you. 
And that's it. It's been half an hour of music from the Thelonious Monk Quartet. And so from them, from me, and from this huge crowd here at the Marquee Club, it's goodbye for now. <laughs>